checking on money matters. Uber has bold plans for flying cars, and CSX shares pop higher in Tuesday's trading. So Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hi, Jane. So CSX shares got a big bump yesterday. So what happened? Yes, boy, CSX has been so interesting lately, Bruce and Nikki. And what happened yesterday, the new CEO, Hunter Harrison, bought $15 million worth of CSX stock. So the thinking is, if the CEO is buying, especially that much, he must know something. So others bought as well, and that did send the stock up. All this happening at about the same time that the company closed <coughs> another round of layoffs. Waiting to see what happens at the White House today. President Trump promising a massive tax cut package. Uh, yes, another thing. Uh, we're going to be watching President uh, Trump expected to release a blueprint for a big tax cut, perhaps the biggest since Ronald Reagan's presidency. Now, sources say he will stick with the campaign pledge to slash the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 15 percent. I mean, it's a huge cut. Uh, Trump also plans to include a tax break for child care expenses. We'll see you this afternoon. All right, Jane, the Nasdaq hits 6,000 for the first time <laughs> ever. Yes, it's been tech stocks that have led the market higher this year. They're the main reason that the NASDAQ crossed that milestone. So the NASDAQ up nearly 12% so far this year. That's double what the Dow and the S&P 500 have done. It's those big tech companies, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, all traded on the NASDAQ. Those have been the key drivers. Each of those companies have gained more than 20% since the start of the year. And Uber has a pretty ambitious plan. <laughs> Roll out flying cars with a pilot by 2020? <laughs> By 2020, I have to kind of just let this settle in a little bit. Flying cars. I mean, we're talking about this not that far away, 2020. So the goal here by Uber is to cut in transit time, of course. Uh, this flying car option would eventually be available in the Uber app, they say. So it's working with aircraft manufacturers to build these flying cars. They would use something called VTOL technology. So that's vertical takeoff. And they're working with real estate companies on uh, landing pads for the cars as well. So many questions. Oh, I have the answer to one. You know who the first <laughs> flying Uber driver is going to be? Um, the, the CEO. No, George Jetson. <laughs> George that experience. Jetson. You knew it was yes. going to be a joke. And I Jane, mean, his wife. And, yeah, and, Jane, and his wife. Jane, his wife. There you go. <laughs> his boy Elroy in the back and daughter Judy, right. she's somewhere else. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> Thanks.